We should get moving. Where's Timon? I told her not to, but she wandered off to study some old text she said looked fantastically intriguing. Time is of the essence, but we can't leave her here alone. Wait, guys! I'm here! Don't get your feathers in such a ruffle! I'm fine! But we don't have time to wait here while you play with some new toys. A dragon's not just gonna sit around while we find this Rodanovan research. It's okay. But we can't delay any longer. Tislak was right. The city appears long dead. I guess we won't find any allies to rally for our cause. Such a pity. Asura. Maybe no new allies, but there is something else here. I'm picking up some prints that are definitely not Asura. Looks like they belong to... Chalk. Yeah, how did you... Ah, gotcha. I speculate these things actually channel it somehow. Great. Well fed Chalk. They're probably responsible for the death of this entire city. Luckily, you can withdraw into the safety of your golem. This is obviously no place for an Asura. Safety of my golem? What's that supposed to mean? Maybe you need the safety of my golem. What? I'm not saying it. Nature is. Okay, enough. Let's pick up the pace.
need to find the lab where they conducted their dragon research. What's the best way to do that? Maybe if we power up the city, Scruffy could trace the biggest energy drop. Logically, it should be the hub of their research. Sounds reasonable. How do you restore power to this place? That's what I was investigating before you got here. Not playing with toys, Bram. Anyway, they had a different procedure for refining lay energy and using it for power. Impressive. This thing's an offline lay collector. We could manually turn enough of them on to get the juice flowing, but the chalk will notice and come running. It's worth the risk. Get it started. These chalk are enough of a challenge to keep me sharp from mortar. I've got good news for you if you're itching for a fight. The more of these we turn on, the more chalk they'll attract. So yeah, math. Deadly math. Just keep doing your thing, Tybee, and take care of whatever comes. turns on. If the power is down, where's this light coming from? I wondered the same thing, and the Rodanovans had quite an answer. The 
fixtures above us are actually clusters of optic cables that run up to the surface. They carry natural light down below. No power needed. All the way down here, and you still get daylight. It's ingenious! I hope we get to see how they solve one of the underground ventilation problems. It could revolutionize all future Asurin construction. You won't find it standing here. On to the next one. It's actually quite the opposite. It's quiet down here. Mordromoth's voice was growing to a great bellow as we drew closer. Here, it's a whisper. It's a welcome respite. Was it becoming too much? Commander, you insult me. I have no plans to give myself over to that beast. Good to hear. Find a lab. With any luck, we'll find a dragon leader. Let's get the last one going. Hold up, hold up! Scruffy's picking up some unusual readings. It looks like it's a golem signature. Old fashioned, but different than anything I've seen before. Does that mean? We must have powered up the city enough to turn on its defenses, and then we triggered said defenses. Yay, us! Heads up, everyone! Sounds like a Surin tech incoming! Adrenaline! 
connection to lay energy is curious. I wonder if it could be employed against Mordromoth. Going after the Rodanovan research is one thing. Can't waste time studying you now. Brown, no one has ever wasted time studying. Let's stay on course. Which way, Tiny? Now that we started the engine, I'm getting a sizable power signature. Might be a lab. Follow me and the big guy. Should be just around this... Wait. Sorry, guys, the signal just moved. I guess the lay equipment on Scruffy's not quite perfected yet. It's fine. Let's just keep moving before we run into more trouble. Working now, Timmy. Be back on track. Think so. We're almost right on top of the source. Is that? Is it active? Why isn't it glowing if we turned on the power? Good question. Uh, let me see. Um, okay. Good news, bad news. Good news is there's enough power to turn this gate on. Bad news is something's interrupting the flow. Something big. I think we found the culprit.
Nice job, Tiny. Thanks! But Scruffy did most of the work. Yeah, well he's as much a part of the team as you. I guess so. Sure. The gates up. Where do you think it goes? Run assume? As far as I know, they were never connected. It must lead deeper into this complex. We should test it out. Make sure it's safe. How do we do that? Someone just walks into it, and if they're not obliterated, it works. Yes, it's up to me. Is everything okay, Tiny? Sorry. Yes, I'm okay, Commander. Well, actually, permission to speak freely? Always. What is it? I enjoy serving in this company. Everyone is great. But I'm a member of this team, not its mascot. I agree. You've more than proved your mettle during this mission. Oh, you do? Well, I wish everyone else felt that way. I think they do. Hate to break it to you, but you're a full-fledged part of this team whether you like it or not. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Thanks. Job not done, Commander! I told you that gate would... I hope no one was planning on going back that way. Where'd we end up? There's a huge lay draw ahead of us. I bet my transverse wave inverter, it's the Dragon Lab. We seem to be outnumbered. This isn't a lab to them. It's a dragon. Wait. The emblem on that blast door. The dragon! That must be it! We need to get through that mess and open that lab. We can't. The door that leads down those stairs is dead. So we're trapped here? The only other way out was through the gate that just exploded? Maybe? Probably. <laughs> Yes. There has to be a way to get the doors working again. Oh! Hold on! Lay energy powers this whole place, and this lay conduit is blown. It almost certainly rendered the doors to this room and the lab inoperative when it went. If we can complete the circuit, they'll both open for sure. Any ideas, people? I have a thought. Scruffy can bridge the gap. The LaTeX I outfitted him with should conduct the energy. But will he survive? Well, I'm not sure. Timing. Back at Dry Top, when the inquest destroyed Scruffy and almost captured you. I can't. You can't what? Let a child make her own decisions? I'm not a child, and this is what I'm doing. Maybe I wasn't ready for it at Dry Top, but I'm ready now. Fair enough. But once the doors are open, we'll still have a ton of chalk to contend with. I have an idea for that too, but first things first. All right, big guy. It's time. You know what to do. Why did he stop? Go on. 
It's okay. I'll be okay. Thank you, Tiny. Now about those chalk. Yes, we're devastatingly outnumbered. Commander, when you were young, do you remember the bad kids burning beetles with a magnifying lens? Sure. Why? Because I'm about to be bad. The device in that room is basically a huge telescope. I can reconfigure all the lights in there to feed into the lenses, turning it into a giant heat ray. Then we have ourselves a chalk cookout. Brilliant. Do what you need to. We'll back you up. Okay. Here we go. Okay, Timmy. We're right here. I positioned the lenses on the microscope. We have to get the main console now.
Shake it off. <laughs> Is this it? Is this the right place? Boot up these machines and we'll find out. Primordis. Anything on Mordromoth? No. Well, sort of. It's about all the Elder Dragons. What is it? Based on their extensive research on Primordis, the Rodonovans determined that each Elder Dragon had a weakness. A unique, respective weakness. And does it say... What it is? No. How easily the fleet went down. It's obvious the way you and my mother stopped Zaitan won't work here. So what do we do now? This is good news, people. We've been charging headlong against Mordramoth, not even knowing if it can be beaten. Only knowing we had to beat it. Now we know it's possible. Our mission is to find out how. To do that, we have to get closer to Mordramoth. And thanks to that lay map, we know exactly where it is. Let's catch up with the others, then. I suppose it'd be nice to have some help finding this weakness. Thanks for everything, Tiny. So, does this mean no more Scruffy? Oh, no. I already have design plans for Scruffy 2.0. Little trim here, a little tuck there, and weapons, lots of weapons. But no golem for the immediate future means this is the end of the road for me. I'll be staying in Rada Novus with all this delectable research. Bummer! Hello? Are you sure? Hey, would you ask Ritlock if he was sure? Cannot? Point taken. Should I send word to someone back at Rada soon? Let them know you're here. Uh, no thanks. I'll take care of that. In, like, a few weeks or so. Don't want to get flunted again, huh? Not particularly. Okay, Tiny. I hope to see you soon. Me too, Commander. Give that dragon a good one for me. Ah, better than moon loot. <laughs> <laughs> 